um, rubber for finding. You can find loads of that. Uh, if you quickly go into workshop menu again, uh, you can scrap anything that is yellow. I spent a good like hour, hour and a half just wandering around the whole of Sanctuary, scrapping everything and getting as much junk as I possibly could so that I could uh, start crafting and building things. But I kind of learned through my playthrough that you don't, it's not, there's not much point doing this stuff straight away. Uh, once, you, once you've got a lot of stuff crafted, you're, it's much, uh, once you've got a lot of um, junk and, and stuff uh, scrapped, it's better to it's better to start then when when you have the option to build loads of things rather than a couple of things. Um, all the stuff you scrap at the moment will be transferred to the workbench, so you won't have to carry any of that steel, wood, concrete, or rubber that this ruined house gives me, which is good. Well, that has uncovered a rad roach, so I take him out. And if I quickly bring up the menu uh, one more time, it also shows you the editable area. So you don't have to build your houses. I don't have to build a house on this foundation here. I could do, because it would be neat. But you could build it uh, as long as it's within this green area. Uh, you, can build, you can build things anywhere. So I could build a house or some kind of base there that extends over the water. I could build something there. I could build it really high. Um, I could build something in the main road. I could build like a guard post here with turrets to protect myself from any raiders that try and attack the, um, the settlement because that will happen as well. Uh, as you get into the game, you will get uh, occasionally get messages saying your settlements are being attacked. If your settlements are attacked, you don't have to go and uh, protect them. Important people won't die, buildings won't get destroyed, but um, you will get bonuses and things if you come back and protect people. Uh, anyway, that's, that's a, a very brief overview of the building. I'm going to ca carry on with the story for now. Uh, we have found a dead raider on the floor. He's got some monies. Oh, and I accidentally picked him up already. Uh, he's got some monies, he's got a stim pack. Uh, looks like maybe a wild mongrel killed him. Um, let me take his drifter outfit quickly, strip him, and bring up my um, my inventory. I'm going to have a look at my apparel, my apparel, apparel, my clothes. Uh, my, my Vault 111 jumpsuit here, it gives me 5% energy weapon resistance. It's a lightning bolt and well, five, yeah, five percent. I guess that's percent. Uh, ten radiation resistance as well, uh, as opposed to the drifter outfit, which gives me more protection from general damage, seven percent protection from um, energy weapons, but no radiation damage. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna drop that and carry on wearing my Vault 111 jumpsuit for now. Now, another video I made today is called um, Playing with Dead Bodies. And I didn't know you could do this to start with when I first started playing the game. When you hover your cursor over things, it instantly shows you what they're holding. And then you can take or transfer items. You can take things by pressing A and it'll take the things. But if you press and hold A, it will grab hold of the item wherever you did that so you can grab and hold on the head oh you don't want to move too fast because otherwise you will drop him but you can grab hold of the head uh, an arm and then you can like drag them around and puppeteer them doopy doo I'm dancing, I'm dancing, I'm waving at you, yeah, I'm dancing, Gaffner, I'm dancing. And uh, I've just dropped him off the off the bridge there. Whoops. But when you get Fallout 4, if you've already got it, because I know a lot of people got it today, uh, playing with dead bodies is a hell of a lot of fun. 
purchasing their souls, he says. So I could do the same with the dog, I could pick the dog up by the head, maybe, or is he too heavy? I, I might. So this is too heavy to carry. I don't know why I can't pick I could pick up that guy but not the dog. But never mind. But yeah, you can pick up dead bodies normally and carry them around. Like that. The only trouble is you walk really slowly when you're carrying dead bodies. There's no way to speed it up, so it takes a long time to run around. What I wanted to do was like build a house of a thousand corpses and like just put a loads of dead bodies in there on sofas and beds and things and in the walls and everywhere weird. Make dead body rugs and things because I'm a little bit weird. What? Get to the point. Colin. Colin. Hello, Colin. Yes, I found Colin. Colin. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here by yourself? It's Colin. Yeah. Colin. Me and Colin hey, together hey, again. Delicious dog fish. Yours for oh yeah. Face your dog and press A to issue commands. Hey. So you can get Colin to go to places, or to um, I could get him to get that stim pack for him. Or was it? Where is it? Was there a stim pack? Get stim pack. Is he gonna grab it for me? He's got the stim pack. He's bringing it back. He's dropped it for me. Nice. So, if there was a load of enemies, maybe I could send Colin to get uh, a quest item for me, instead of having to run in and get killed. We've got another area here. Um, this is a red rocket station. Again, it has a workbench, which means this area is editable. So I can... Oh, I need to get out of my dog menu. <laughs> Come on. Heavenly herring, delicious oh, sorry, I'm being, I'm big an idiot. First of all, you have to select the workshop, and then I'm gonna leave Colin to fight the mole rats for a second. And then you can see that this area I can upgrade. I can spruce up Red Rocket. I can make Red Rocket my base. Ah, I'm trying to do a tour. Ah. Um, and a lot of the Red Rocket area is editable, but it's nowhere near as big as the area you can edit in Sanctuary. Sanctuary is like the biggest place you can edit. Right. Mole rat. In the face with some vats. There we go. Beheaded the mole rat. And you. There we go. Where are you, Colin? Now, your companions cannot die. But they can get knocked down. Uh, it looks like Colin's all right, though. So what have we got? We've got some cram. We've got some food here. Food um, is always good to have. But a lot of it is radioactive. There we go. I was shooting at that mole rat, but my bullets were hitting the dead body instead. I hope one of the first mods is name your dog uh, Barry Hood, because Colin has to be has to be named. Hot plate. I want the hot plate. Hot plates are a great source of copper, which uh, is important if you want to build things with electricity. Telephone also has copper. Um, I picked up a giddy up buttercup leg, which, as far as I know, doesn't have copper. Quite I down think the market, that's got it seems. gears in, Good yeah. Day. So I, I'm going to untag gears for search. And I'm going to carry on. So that was the red rocket station, but. Let's quickly check my map, make sure I'm going the right direction. Investigate Concord, this is where I need to go. So we can see, oh, oops. We can see on the map that uh, I just need to follow this road down here. So let's find the road. You can't search cars for loot in this game. Quiet day on the market, it seems. Is Colin still with me? Colin! 
Got it. There he is. You can talk to Colin as well if you get close. How you doing, buddy? Maybe he'll do me a trick. Do a trick. Yay, good Colin. Look at Colin. He can do tricks. Colin, you're awesome. Let's go, Colin. Doodly doo doo. Okay, let's kill some blood bugs. Boom, blood bug headshot. Yeah, every single piece of junk in this game is useful. Um, gem spark. Every item you find in the game can be broken down into components. Uh, those components can then be used for crafting um, bits of buildings. They can be used for crafting bits of power armor. They can be used for crafting weapon mods. You can use um, food items to craft um, recipes. So everything you can find has a purpose in the game, including a bottle of new Coca-Cola Quantum. Yeah. I'll take the sugar bombs as well. Have a quick look upstairs. Not every building is full in Fallout 4 is explorable. Some medex and buff out from that cam box. As you'll see as we head into um, Concord, these next few houses are just set dressing. You can't go into them. To leave the city but there are plenty of danger. buildings that you, you can go into. Like a lot of buildings you know. that you can go into will start little quests and new, um, new side missions. Some of them can last for quite a while. Other buildings like this one, they're just open to the world and that don't have to load an interior. You can normally just walk in, have a quick look around and um, steal whatever's lying around. Short pipe bolt action rifle right there. There's also a, a wall safe that I don't have the skills to unlock an expert lock at the moment. Uh, let's demonstrate quickly the quick select as well. Let's go to my weapons and I'm going to get the short pipe bolt action rifle and I'm going to favour it by pressing RB. Uh, you can slot 3, 6, 9, 12 different things on your favourites board. I'm going to put my rifle there and I'm going to put the pipe pistol there. Now I can easily swap between my guns by pressing the D-pad and then pressing A. We've only got four ammo for this rifle. Sounds like um, Colin's found an enemy. I found a dead body with a switchblade. Uh, so he's got a, r a leather right leg though. If I take that r leather right leg and look at the apparel, uh, you can see that's going to add some damage resistance to my outfit. I'll wear that over my uh, jumpsuit. So that means I'll have all that radiation defense and I'll have the other defense as well, but only in my left leg. Sounds like there's some uh, action going on down there. I'm going to uh, I'm going to continue searching quickly. Cap stash. You need caps to buy stuff in Fallout, of course, bottle caps. So it's always good to be on a lookout Yeah, I mean, I completed the game, actually, I'm, I completed the main campaign in about 30 hours and didn't touch so much of the game. I hardly did any exploring and loads of different quests. This raider hasn't noticed me for some reason. 
even though I walked right up close to her. So I'm going to... Oh, damn it. I was going to do a surprise attack, but I accidentally did a hit and, um, and alerted her. Doesn't matter, because I still managed to shoot her head clean off. Uh, there's a Molotov cocktail in there. And also some more armour that I should take. Uh, a Raider chest piece. This is again giving me some stuff. An assault gas mask. That will also give me some protection. I'm detected at the moment. Let's see if I can get Colin. I'm going to see if I can get Colin. Colin, stand still. Let me see if I can get Colin to attack someone. I can't see any more raiders, actually. Did, they, did all the raiders get killed? Maybe they did. There's a mannequin. What's the mannequin holding? A oh, screwdriver. Dead mannequin. What? Oh, it's Preston Garvey. And we've seen Preston Garvey in the trailers. A few more pipe pistols there. There we go, short laser musket. So, laser musket sounds pretty cool. Let's equip that laser musket. Should have favourited it. So for laser muskets, you have to crank them to put charges, to put laser charges into them. I should probably head in and help Preston Garvey. But my loot sensors are tingling. Not there's anything too good in here though. Of mannequins. Oh, okay. My loot sensors failed me. There's nothing. What is that? No, there's nothing. Right, let's go help Preston Garvey. He's probably in trouble, gang. Hey! That person just stole the gun and ran off. It's probably what I'd do in real life. Do 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 loading do 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 what Okay, so there's some lootable stuff there, but I can't get it. What else have we got here? We've got a bobby pin box. Good for lockpicks. Sounds like there's bad guys around. The dog is giving a warning growl. Yeah, he's, he's looking angry. He knows something's up. We're in a museum. What? Nothing wrong with a bit of British occupation. So we're in the Museum of Freedom. Museum to the War of Independence, if I'm not mistaken. There's a raider. He hasn't seen me yet. I'm going to try again for a successful sneak attack. Bosh. Melted his spine right out of his body. Sounds like there's people up above firing. The tool case with a short, another short pipe rifle and a shotgun shell. I'll take a short pipe rifle anyway. I've got a lot of room in my inventory at the moment. It's down here. Oh, there's a picture of a kitten. That's all I need. I'm off. Goodbye. Might as well take a bit of junk while I'm here. 
it all comes in useful in the end. What have we got here? So we've got a uh, computer terminal. Now, lock picking and computer hacking are exactly the same as they were in um, Fallout 3. Fallout New Someone's hitting my dog. Hit my dog, you shit. Oh. My dog just threw that guy off. Um, I think the build that Johnny gave me means I can't... Um, Oh, I can hack novice things, or I can lockpick novice things as well without uh, without having perks. So that's not too bad. I thought I can, couldn't um, I couldn't hack at all. All right, loons. Wow, that was some good quick hacking there. Uh, unlock security gate. Unlocking. I've unlocked security gate, and I found. A fusion core. What the hell is a fusion core? We'll find that out later. Let's keep down again. No one knows I'm around yet. There's a raider. Uh, my dog is somehow all the way up there, but um, Colin is injured. He needs to be revived, or I need to clean enemies out from the area. Feel my electric fury. Sneak attack. Dead. Uh, he's got left raider left arm there, so let's wear the raider left arm as well. Adds me a little bit more armor. Sounds like things have calmed down a bit. Perhaps. Oh god, that door's just not. <laughs> Damn it. Door knocked me all the way back to this part. Oh, you can sprint in Fallout 4 as well if you hadn't realised already. Which is useful. Sprinting uses up your action points, so if you sprint loads and then sprint into the middle of like a big firefight, you won't be able to use your action points uh, to... Um, Attacking vats or anything like that. Okay, there's more raiders that way. What? Oh, my dog's back. Don't you shoot my dog, douchebag! And then you can also, I don't know if you noticed that critical bar had filled up. You can, uh, after a few successful attacks in VATS, your crit bar fills. And then you can um, trigger a critical attack and properly deal some damage to bad guys. Not in too much of a rush to go and rescue Preston just yet. Although I should probably do that bit in the next... I've only got 38 minutes left on this stream, so I shouldn't take... I shouldn't scrounge... I shouldn't take too much longer when I get this first bit out of the way. So the second stream that I'm doing a little bit later on, at 5pm I'm starting my second stream of this, uh, that is going to be a bit more, hopefully a bit more just going off into the open world and getting into mischief and seeing what I can find. Oh, there was a cap stash there. Always pays to explore. Now we need to head upstairs. Oh, shh, no. Sorry. I was trying to take a shortcut and it ended up being the long route. Right. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take the long route now, which is through that museum exhibit. 
through this way. It's quite a pretty mural of, a, of American achievements, military achievements. Okay, I'm heading at the moment. I'm going to use this. Opportunity to throw a Molotov cocktail at an enemy. Just in case I accidentally miss and hit someone I don't want to with. Um, I might quick save. Oh, I can't quick save at the moment. I guess that's because there's a bad guy around. Two bad guys. Oh, why can't I throw my grenades? Why don't you hold down RB to throw your grenades? That's odd. Oh, that's because I hadn't... You're... You're hurting my dog! Oh, my arm has been crippled, making it harder to aim. Use a stim pack to e heal your limb. So I've, uh, I've burnt my arm. Colin managed to escape the floor. No, Colin, no! Oh, God, Colin. All right, so I set fire to that guy. Right, so I need to go to my stats. And I need to do a stim pack here, which will... Heal me up. Let's have a very quick run through. Look for some goodies. Um, I like the fact that in this game now you just have to look at things and you can tell exactly what's in people's inventories. You don't have to... Um, I didn't mean to get his harness. You don't have to continually open um, containers. I'm going to drop the harness. I didn't want that. I'm going to equip the right arm. And uh, I also picked up a shotgun. I'm going to put the shotgun in my favourites as well. It's time to meet Preston Garvey. Hello, sir. People are laughing about the fact that I tried to protect my dog with a, with a Molotov cocktail. Yeah, I know. I didn't think that one through, did I? Uh, I'm glad to help. Um, go on. Yeah, none of your companions can die. They'll be knocked into down but not out states, but you can revive them with stim packs or when the coast is clear, your uh, your companions will... Um, Wake up again. I need to level up as well. What's the idea? There's a grass vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Okay. I did. Hello, Hardcore 231 I like it. there with the uh, the um, subtitles. 
I think it's a good idea. So I might have forgotten to tell you all. You will know if you read the review or watched our uh, video review chat. Fallout 4 is awesome, but it's pretty broken. Uh, there are a lot. Of, we will encounter a lot of bugs and glitches during these uh, this live stream series. A lot. Uh, I'll help. I'll help. Sorry. I'll help. I'll help. The Lapis Man says, I don't know why, but I'm really enjoying this video. That's because you're awesome, sir. Thank you very much to everyone who's watching, by the way. Almost 300 people watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. If you're enjoying it, uh, feel free to subscribe. I'll be doing more Fallout 4 live streams and plenty more Fallout uh, videos in the future as well. Along with all the rest of the video content here on Eurogamer that Johnny, Aoife and Chris produce as well. Loads of fun stuff here. Okay, is that subtitle ever going to go? It is. Brilliant. What's this? I've collected an issue of Robco Fun. This includes the Atomic Command Holotape game. So, um, some of these... Um, some of these comics give you games you can play in your Pip-Boy. For instance, Atomic Command. I found about four games in my first playthrough of this.
about. your pip boy app as well if you have downloaded the pip boy app for your um for your iphone or whatever how can i i want to quit here cool I also I have a point to spend on ranking up. So what do I what is the first thing I want to do? Pickpocket toughness, maybe 10% damage resistant. Selling prices are better, bans the Oh no, Johnny said the first thing I had to spend my point on was Mr. Sandman. As an agent of death itself, you can instantly kill a sleeping person. He said I had to spend my first point on Mr. Sandman. So there we go, Johnny, if you're watching, I've done it. And I've got an additional 15% sneak attack damage if I use silenced weapons. I'm going to quickly save my game. Uh, there are some quick saves. Um, I'm not going to go any further down, just in case there's you'll see spoilers from the because each image each game save has an image um, I don't want to go too far down in case you see an image of like a spoiler from further in the game right um, okay dog meat he's not called dog meat it's called Colin takes drugs and um, he lets us see the future. Can the dog carry items? Good question XQ3228. I will check in a second. Large and angry is coming. Brilliant. What is it? Mama, Mama, I, need more. Please. I failed in my persuasion attempt. got a job to do um, I've got a couple of jobs to do where's my dog dog hey trade so yeah dog meat can carry things um, so I could give him one of my pistols to carry and uh, the blood bog proboscis if I really want it uh, giddy up buttercup back leg. There you go. So dog meat can carry things. So he's a bit of a walking stack. What's that? It's a bobblehead. It's a perception bobblehead. Your perception has been permanently increased by one. Wow. Well, so Johnny gave me um, 
seven perception already. So now that means I'm eight. I've got eight perception. So the best thing I can pick from perception at the moment is sniper. Uh, you have improved control and can hold your breath longer when aiming with scopes. Um, so. But yeah, again, all these ones are not active. The only perk I've got active at the moment is Mr. Sandman that lets me kill, instantly kill a sleeping person. I don't know why Johnny was so desperate for me to have that one. Possibly because it's useless and he wanted to troll me. Never mind. Uh, also, and this took me a little while to remember. If you hold down B, your pip boy will light up the surrounding area. It's a lovely bit of fish. Oh. Don't want to fall down there. <clears throat> so we're heading out to the Commonwealth. Carry my mini nuke launcher and fire them dog meat, says XQ. If you give your companions, your human companions, mini nukes and missile launchers, they will use them. Uh, and they will use them at really inappropriate moments and um, you'll end up getting killed by them. It's happened to me um, already. Uh, I actually, uh, we go, we, we talk about it in the review chat about how our uh, NPCs killed both of us. There's a, um, a holotape log on the table. Let's Personal check it out. Log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. Cause EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. Flaherty and Cantaloupe were shot by some scared desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go away if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. I've reached level three. God bless America. But what's left of it? Um, so I've got another perk point to spend. What should I spend it on? Um, I should really, I should really let you guys um, uh, decide what I spend it on. What should I spend my perk on? Um, there's loads of things to choose from. Black Widow. Come to my pile of men suffer 5% damage in combat. They're easier to persuade in dialogue. Medic. Restores folks at a lost health. Health. Stimpaks. That's a good one. It's a very good one, actually. Um, yeah. If you go to vault111.com, you can have a look at what perks are available, and then I will... Uh, I'll take someone's suggestion, the first suggestion I see. This minigun is beasting everyone. Run from my minigun! <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Who else wants some? What? Holy crap. It's a death claw. Death claw. Death claw. The digger pop. It's making short work of the raiders. Oh my god. Death claw.
He's not dead yet. There we go. Took the death claw down with my uh, minigun of power. Wow, I've mashed its brains. Um, wow, that death claw got owned. Let's clean up. Corvega storage key. Ow. So kick his ass, Colin. Don't you, Colin? Can't believe that douchebag's shot Colin. In my uh, first playthrough of this, I had to stop using Colin because I got really upset every time someone like murdered him. Well, not murdered him, but hurt him. I vote for bloody mess, says Fergal Riley. So does Neil Horgan. We're doing bloody mess. That was the first bloody mess was the first one I saw when I looked down, and uh, Marcus Snor no someone um, said bloody mess. There we go. Plus five damage bonus means enemies will sometimes explode into a gory red paste. Bloody mess is the best perk. So there we go. We now have bloody mess. What time is it? Still got 18 minutes. This is good. This is good. It's okay. Um, I will be. Uh, I'll be asking next next time I get a rank up. I will. Uh, I will ask again. And we will see what happens. And we'll make some kind of Frankenstein's monster of a vault dweller. Now the fusion core I plugged into the back of this power armor suit was actually um, the thing that used to power power armor. The dial there, not that one right below me, but that one just next to it, shows that I have just under 50% core power left. When that runs out, this suit will shut down. It won't completely shut down, but I will. It will only move very slowly, and it will, you know, it won't be very much use. So I need to keep an eye out for fusion cores in the future. What's going on? Are we getting out of here? I'm trying to find Preston. <laughs> what was that guy doing? Wahoo, 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 wahoo. Can dog meat carry Nuka Cola? I believe he can, yes. Give Colin the power armor, says Chris Brown. Much, whoa! What? Where are you going? Ghost Preston. He's gone back inside again. What a, what a douche. I think I did that wrong, you know. I think I was supposed to shout up to him. So now everybody's down here, aren't they? Ah. Boom. Thank you. Me too. Feeding's mutual. marry anybody in this game, says Jeremy Rosado. That's a good question. You kind of can, I guess. Because you take your wedding ring. You take the wedding ring of your dead partner. You can romance companions so they fall in love with you. And you can get them to carry stuff. So I presume you could give that wedding ring to someone and technically you married them. Uh, you're welcome. Thanks for the money. Uh, okay. That's 
I do have a lot of pain, Mama Murphy. Help me, please. Tell me. I need to know. Where's Sean? 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 Your son's energy. He's alive. Where is Sean? Diamond City. Drugs for information. Works for me. Yeah. Yeah, shut up, Preston. Oh yeah. Don't get in the way of me and my son, Preston, or you'll get this minigun right in your mush. tricks he <laughs> good Colin all right we're off to sanctuary then God, let's do this do I need to speak to him again okay he told he sure told me press F to Sean 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 Jason Jason Sean Jason I wish the kid in this was called Jason Jason! How long till someone makes a mod to shout Sean like the like the famous Heavy Rain game? God, I hope they do. Alright, Preston's taking point. It's dark. Hey guys, look what I killed. Look what I killed. Killed a death claw. Sucks to be. The death door. Oh yeah. We're taking a stroll, stroll, to sanctuary, past all the dead bodies I caused. Yeah, I wonder. Hey, I wonder. Yeah. You can come with us. Preston! Hey Preston, look at me! Preston, look at me! Look at me, Preston! Look at me! Preston, Preston, look at me. Look what I'm doing. Preston, Preston, Preston. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on! Come on! Come on about sanctuary! Right, I'll meet you there. That boop, 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 boop noise meant that my power armor, there it is, it says up on the screen there, my power armor's fusion core is low. Uh, dog, you cannot change the name of dog meat. I'm hoping at some point someone mods it so you can. Uh, because I want him to be called Colin. Officially calls Colin. So it's night time in the wastes. Oh, 
and to Sanctuary. I'm going to exit my power armor in a second. That's a cooking station there. That's where you can craft recipes. I could craft some recipes with the uh, the death claw meat that I got if I if I fancy it. Okay, sure. Dog meat can indeed carry items. Okay, so let's head here. So this is a power armor station. I want to get out of my power armor. You can get out of your power armor anywhere, but it's best to do it by the power armor station. Because from here you can craft your power armor. Uh, there's lots of different things you can craft, but as you can see, um, if I wanted to make a Model D helmet, which gives me improved damage and energy resistance, I'd need to have rank 1 science perk and rank 2 armorer perk. So, if you want to make a really cool power armor, you're going to need to invest in some perks. Mainly the science rank 1 perk, to be honest, but... Um, there are some things you can do without perks. You can paint uh, parts of the power armor. I could paint it in a nice vault tech blue and kind of yellow, which will increase charisma with all, when all the pieces are painted. Um, there's other winterized coating I could paint, which gives me energy resistance, things like that. But I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave my power armor for now. My my uh, my buddies are going to take a long time getting here because they walk really slow. So what I want to do is find a bed and have a kit. Why is there no beds in this house? Who oh, has a house with no bedroom? Sleep in my old, my old family bed. I'm sure uh, that wouldn't be creepy and weird. Oh, it's it's screwed. All right, fine. Scrap, 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 scrap. I'm going to build myself a bed. Oh, I need cloth. Okay, I can't build a bed until I've got some cloth. There we go. Couch has got me some cloth. You can literally just scrap everything in these houses. Well, not everything. You can't scrap scrap these kitchen cabinets. You can scrap the cooker. Uh, you can scrap tea kettle. We scrap cars. I, wanna, I just want to make it daytime. I'll just plonk a bed there. If I want to move that bed later I can store it in a workshop and then it'll be available later on. And for that I'll go to sleep. I'll go to sleep until 8. There we go, so I've slept, it's daytime, I feel well rested, so if I look in my uh, status, everything is all good. Henry, Mrs. Henry J. Buckminster is ready for action. And everyone has arrived at the settlement. Get out of my way, Sturgis. Sturgis! Where is... Garvey. He's not really, I've got to speak to Garvey, but he's, he's hiding out around back or something. Oh, you Garvey, Preston Garvey. He's just patrolling. It's probably probably a good idea to patrol. Lots of, me. lots of raiders around here. You decided to come with us. Thanks. Should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. Uh, I lived here. Yeah, I used to like living here. 
Wait, what? What do you mean? Before what war? I am indeed enjoying it, David Sells. Oh dear. Is that over to the zombie dog? I was my frozen friend, my highness. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre war blues. You said you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Careful, comrade. Um, I think I sense a sorcerer in yonder shadows. Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Ask away, my friend. Sorry. Ask away. Always helps to know a thing. Frankly, it surprises me you lot of so heed anyway, me, comrade. I am glad. You can't trust a wizard. Well, comrade, I've been around long enough. But not my distrust Thanks. of magic is so I'll just stare at you for a little bit. So you and your illusion scrolls to hide. It's no coincidence. Come on. Wait, don't let the name fool in the days of old. Okay. The fine now, it's been centuries since anything more than I'd hoped, comrade. There's Mayor Seth, and on top of it all, the feline menace is lurking at every hearth. Fella seems like a humble doctor, but I'll bet my a loose lip hardly the habit of an innocent healer, I'd say. I guess so. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. Okay, when freedom calls, that uh, looks like a very good time for me to end the stream. I've reached level four. Um, oh god, what, what the hell? got a minigun with me. Um, what perk? What perk? I've got a perk to spend quickly before the stream ends. Someone tell me what perk to uh, to buy. And I will buy it. First, first, uh, first one I see I'll buy. Even if it's a really dumb one. Which I don't want it to be. Um, what was I doing? I was going to my inventory and looking at my weapon. How much have I got? I've still got quite a lot of room. So, I might as well keep my minigun with me for now. But maybe I'll hold something a little bit more manageable. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take a half an hour break. I'm going to be back at 5 o'clock. Uh, doing the second part of this stream. I will put a link to that stream in the... Um, in the video description to this video and possibly in the comments as well if it lets me. I will find out in a second. Uh, so let's have a look. Will it work? Doink. So that is the link to stream two. And let's go here and put part two. In the description, I'll put the link there as well in the video description. So that way, you'll be able to join me in half an hour's time at 5 p.m. for another two hours of Fallout 4, where I'll be continuing my adventures with Colin the Dog. Uh, first, what I've seen, Rye Rocky Gamer, Life Giver, and he's stuck a tongue out. What the hell does that mean? What is Life Giver? Life giver, 20% maximum health. I like that idea. I'm happy with that one. Life giver is the one I've gone for. And that was suggested by Rye Rocky Gamer. Uh, that's all right. That's a good one. I'm happy with that one. As I continue playing, by the way, I will be asking you guys what perks I should be using. So, um, what, um, you know, this character is going to end up being a Frankenstein's monster of your ideas as well as uh, my playstyle. So it should be good fun seeing what we all come up with. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please do come back if you've enjoyed this in half an hour's time to the link I've posted in the description below or the one I put in the comments just now. I'll also tweet it from my Twitter account right there and from Eurogamer's account right there as well. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, give the video a thumbs up to show your appreciation. And if you've just stumbled across us and want to see more from Eurogamer, because there's plenty of stuff going on here, then feel free to give a subscribe to the channel. You won't regret it. It'll make 
it'll, it'll be your favourite channel. I promise. I promise. I can't promise that, but I'd like to. I promise it anyway. Right. Hopefully see you in a half an hour. Goodbye. Seen if these houses. Not all the houses can be entered. There's a dead Brahmin. That's the two headed cows. Um, these houses on the hills could not be entered, so therefore there's no loot for me from these ones, which is a pity. We've got any little lootable houses in walking distance? Looks like they're all boarded up, so I'll continue on my adventure towards. Uh, the white point this one here we go <clears throat> okay I'm at the top of the quarry so you, you've probably seen this quarry in the uh, E3 gameplay reveals it's pretty quiet at the moment though not much is going on so let's carry on I don't want to fall down and die I've, I've gone, basically I've gone off-road and now getting to this waypoint might be a little bit hard, I don't know, maybe I can go in a straight line this way. Dog meat, he doesn't care, dog meat's not scared about heights, I mean Colin, dog meat, what am I saying? Colin's not scared of heights. Dog meat might be whoever dog meat is. Oh, according to Rye Rocky Gamer, there's a special book in the house that I can use. Uh, in the house, my my pre-war house, or, or the, the house I used to live in before the war. I'll go and check that out next time I head back to Sanctuary. I'll be going back there after I've uh, done this mission, I believe. Steve Scott is here, so slick, so's Mesoliptic J. Drunk Doggy's here as well, Dan Lidford, lots of regulars popping up. Hello, you. Um, it's this way. Is it this way? Can I open up that gate? No. I can get through here though. Lead the way, dog meat. Uh, Colin, oh god, I keep reading the name on the screen. Is there anything? There's some. These yellow crates 